Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to connect GoDaddy domain to Heroku. Let's begin. Now, you need to create your account here in Heroku first because we are not going to be able to integrate or connect our GoDaddy domain to this platform. And as you can see, if you already have an account here, just log in using your credentials or this is a perfect time for you to sign up. Now, creating an account here in Heroku is really fast and easy. All you're going to do is provide your first name, your last name, a business email or a working email, your company, your role, your country of region, and the primary development language that you're going to you are using. Ruby, PHP, Python, Node, Java, and a lot more. And from here, a platform for apps. And you can deploy now by coding to running apps in minutes. And basically, Heroku are a little bit geo-restricted, so you have to pay attention. Some regions are not going to be able to create a Heroku account, so you need to use a VPN. And after creating an account here, you need to go to your dashboard. Now, from here, all you're going to do is go to your account and then click on the server that you wanted to put a custom domain. Now, for you to be able to do that, you need to upgrade to another subscription plan okay and after putting your and then all you're gonna do is click on the upper right corner of your account and then hover down to where it says domains because from here you can add custom domains to any heroku app then visit configuring dns to set up your dns target and again you can app can be found at the specific domains that you entered and for you to be able to do that again is you need to upgrade to a, another subscription plan which i don't have at the moment but if you do so just uh, follow the uh, video now if you entered your domain he name here what will happen is you would be able to get some dns target and you need to copy and paste that dns target when you head over to your uh, domain provider which is going to be our godaddy and once again log into your godaddy account and click on my products and from here we need to go to all products and services and click on domains and we're going to create a new record now from here choosing the uh type is going to be c name right and for the value is the copied information that you have on heroku okay and for the uh, value name here that's going to be triple w dot and for the uh, ttl it's like um half an hour most likely most of it is half an hour and then click on save right here if you are done and if you're sure that's all the information that you needed and another step that you can do is go to a dns management and you need to hover down at the very bottom where you can see the uh, connect your domain because from here you can automatically forward your domain to an existing website now click on connect my site now from here these are the websites and platforms that you can automatically send your domain traffic to a uh, different destinations now all i'm gonna do is click on my domains here that you wanted and you need to search for heroku and if it's not part of um the uh, available uh, lists here you might want to go and give time for changes to apply because normally it may take up to um, 24 to uh, 48 hours for dns to propagate throughout the internet because from here onwards after this time passes your heroku um domain will open at your domain name via the uh, secure https connection and again if you have problems um with all the navigation process you might want to go and ask for um the heroku support down below as you can see it from here click on that and you can create a ticket wherein you can ask the customer support about help and guidelines in such cases that your custom domain or you're having problems connecting your GoDaddy domain to Heroku platform.
okay and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one